or parasaurs. Is that what we call them, parasaurs? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't remember half the time what these guys are all called. I've been playing so much Pal World recently, and I don't even know how to pronounce half those guys' names. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today I got to get my army ready to go fight the Broodmother. So, I've gotten me some Therizinos. I've already done a little test here. I know for a fact that one imprint on this is 20%, and I know that it, like at 18%, like 18% maturity is when it gets the imprint. So, ow, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. You're already hurting because I barely had enough food for you when I started. I need to go get food at some point. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, I know that it's going to probably take five imprints each on these guys. It takes about six minutes. I've already gone out and got an Overaptor because apparently they have this nice little ability where you can now select them to actually collect fertilized eggs as well. I originally thought they just got unfertilized, but I guess here in uh, ASE, or no, pff, wrong game, ASA, uh, ASE is the old one, ASA, uh, Overraptor's got an update where they can now pick up fertilized eggs. And yeah, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm waiting for these guys to spit me up some more eggs. Um, another thing we need to do today is, I got a, I got the Utahs, I got me another Utah. I actually got triplets out of one of the eggs. And these surprisingly all have the stats I need. I just need to pick which one of them I need to go and take out and level up. So that way it can be ready for the boss fight. Because I need another Utai. And I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to save the Broodmother fight for, uh, for Friday. And tomorrow we're going to go out and we're just going to go get us two high level Deodon. I'm not going to bother. Uh, I might bother breeding them. I might. That's a big might. Because... Mammal breeding is like just irritating because it's it's takes so much time. So okay, so here's the first six eggs that I hatched. I got eight Therizinos out of them. So we got eight Therys here. So if I need seven more, all right, that's what I need. I need seven more Therizinos. If I do, if I'm doing my math right, I might be completely off. I got eight here. No, yeah, my math is completely off. So, because I need nine more. I need nine more Therese. Jeez. Okay, so I finally got all the Therizinos now. Problem is, is now I got to get enough food for them to be fed. Which I've already gone and got a load of berries. Those ones, though, got really close to starving. Really close. These guys, I don't know how they're going to do. Alrighty, so... I'm going to take just this one here on the right side. I got one of my good Utai saddles out. I accidentally grabbed me a Pachyrhinosaurus saddle there. Because I thought it was the one I needed. It was not. But this is the one we're going to take. We're going to level it up. To make sure it's perfect. So, it's already got 10k health. And... I think I want to get at least 25 on its health. That right there was a bit already. I should have actually paid attention to how many points I had. Okay, so you had 9. Alright, that was 8 points. Okay, so one thing I got to do is get this guy out of the treehouse. The best way to do that is with a cryobod. Um... Okay. Uh, for a minute there, I thought he was looking straight down. I gotta get this doom. So, basically, I gotta go run around. Um, hopefully, I can find an explorer now. I don't know if there's any more that are still close that I haven't gotten. I might have to head out a bit to go get one. But, we got the Therizinos hatched. I got enough food there for them. Um... I gotta stop back by here in... I got a timer here on my phone. I gotta stop back by here in... 10 minutes. To do a second round... Oh, no. Third round of imprinting. And then... I think I got, like, two more after that. So. All our U... Our U Tyrannus... Or, not U Tyrannus. I can't even remember what I'm doing. All our Therys... Are really, really close to, uh 
being fully leveled up. So I already got 8 points into my health. I think I want to do 22 points into my health. Just like, that's a quarter of the amount of points, like, that's one quarter of all the points that he can get. And this Bronto should give me a good chunk of points. He hasn't really killed anything at all. So, getting XP here early on. Oh, there's just a bunch of Titanoboas. Uh. Okay, so, we got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I need nine more points into my health. Uh, we can take on another Bronto. I believe we can. What level are you? You're le another level 10. Yeah, we can take on this one. We're doing a decent amount of, like, doing 300 a hit on this Utai. That's actually pretty decent. And then I can also Furor things. I really don't need the me. Actually, I do. Actually, if I recall, I only had like a stack left. So we'll get you for the XP as well. Okay. Um, seven more after this. Six more. Six more. Let me... Alright, so is that 31? Alright, I've put 16 in. I need 6 more. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to do math. Because I, I, I want to make sure I get only a quarter of all my points into the health. Because I I think I could get it up to 30,000. If I can get 30,000 health on the Utai, the Utai should be perfectly fine. Especially with this saddle on him. Um, The only thing... <sighs> Problem is, is Therizino's saddles. I don't have a lot of Therizino saddles. I think I have five decent ones. But these are decent. These aren't, like, good saddles, alright? This would be something you would probably throw on a, a Therizino just, to, like, in case it, like, got attacked by something. Like, this isn't, like, you're actually planning on throwing this at something, you know? It's not that kind of saddle. Hopefully here I can find Mia. Pego Mastex! Get off me! Alright, I'm just gonna go keep on leveling. Um, need four more. Okay, so, got me trikes fighting me. There's a Sarko in the back eating one of their babies. Alright, the reason why these guys were not taking any damage at all is just because that they were... Alright, I shouldn't kill the babies. Alright. Alright, so... That's 20 points in total. I need two more levels for my Utai. And then he should have all the health he needs. Uh, I do not know where I actually am on the map. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Um... I'm wondering if I just stay in the swamp. Maybe I can find an explorer now? I don't know. I might be completely wrong about that. Ah, I found it finally. So, I've been looking for one of these. Uh, and I finally do believe, yep, that's my last two points I need. There's a Thylo biting my butt. Come here, Thylo. I need to get you because you actually have a bleed attack. Alrighty, Khaleesi, you need to sit down. My dog is on my lap, and she's trying Having to figure out what's going on. Subjects has helped my experiments tremendously. Even that's a if Rockwell numb. note, and that's a bunch of XP boots. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to lay down. You were about to hit my mic. So that's... Alright, I got 22 into there. I need 11 into stamina. I'm going to hold off until I get 11. But basically, no, with the Rockwell note, I got min... I just couple minutes here of just XP boost so I need to just go find a place dense with creatures I can go chomping through I got a problem that 150 Rhino Nanthi is attacking me I, and I had to kill her I had no other choice it forced me to 
I literally had no other choice. It would have killed the Utah I was working on. Oh, I didn't even realize she was right there. It got me a lot of XP though. 150 Rhino. That's the one that we used to get to get ours. Ah! I was running over here to the swamp so I could just listen. When you you can legit just look at the swamp here. It's just dense, filled with creatures. That's a nice looking Titanoboa. I just killed it. That one that had the neon green on the back looked kind of cool. All right, ow! I just punched my mic again. My dog just hit it, and then I just hit it. Like I'm, I'm having a bad time with the recording today. I just keep on punching the mic. So, so I got a two, three, four. I need to save one point. Okay. So, that's eleven in there. And then I need to do 11 into the movement speed. And then I'm going to go completely everything else into the melee. But we got to just go chomping through some guys here to get XP. So all I've quite literally been doing is just running down the beach, killing Paris Aratheriums. Or parasaurs. Is that what we call them? Parasaurs? Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't remember half the time what these guys are all called. I've been playing so much Power World recently. And I don't even know how to pronounce half those guys' names. I'm just now getting attacked by Dire Bears. I finally got 11 points into my uh, movement speed. Oh, this is what Dire Bears got me pinned. There we go. Boom. Now I can actually start leveling up my melee. So all my other stuff that I wanted points into or have gotten the points into them. Now I just need to keep on leveling. What level are you? Screw it, we'll go for it. Gotta be careful though. There's a titanosaurus in the in the mountain. You're level 15, I'm pretty sure I can do this. If I hit, stay behind you, you won't do your stomp, I'm pretty sure. You can do that back kick, but you can't do your rear up and stomp on me. You're getting really close. I know a, Bra a Brachiosaurus would be worth it. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the... Mm -hmm. Got the melee. We could do it. I mean... I believe we could take on a Titanosaur. I believe it. What I need to do... The baby Diplo. Uh, I think he's stuck stuck. No, he is not. I probably... Oh, no. Diplo, not the best time to be doing this. I'm trying to kill a Titanosaur. There we go. That should have fear roared him. Are you still mad? Most certainly. I need to watch my health. But I'm pretty sure we can do this. I think we got the Titanosaur. I think we can do it. Honestly, you know what? I think I don't, because Titanosaurs have armor, just natural armor, and I'm not doing the 500 damage. Like, look, I'm doing 400 damage to that. I do not have the Titanosaur. If I had a pack of Utahs and mate boosting, maybe. Maybe. 
I'm just calling it because I don't want to get, you know, stuck in a situation where that Titanosaur wants to kill me. And I'm pretty sure he's already lost my aggro. I think he has, yeah. He's lost my aggro. It's lost my aggro. So he's not even trying to come and get me anymore. But I do mostly just need to keep leveling up, pumping everything into the melee is what I want to do. And I need to go let him recover health. That's one thing I haven't let him do is recover any sort of health. Um, so that's probably going to be it for this episode, actually. We got the Titanosaurs. We got our new Uranus uh, here. He is a little beaten up, but yeah. This guy's going to be the one we use. And again, tomorrow, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go and go get two Deodon. They're going to just be decent level ones. I don't know if they're going to be the best. I don't know if I can find 150s on... I have not been up in the Arctic at all, so I can't guarantee 150s. Uh, I can, best I can do is probably above 100. I can always try for over 100. That's usually what I shoot for. But since how this is Alpha Broodmother, I really think I should try for a 150. But anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe. Now, and if you would like to support the channel anymore, we do have memberships for YouTube. And right now, we are trying to hit a members goal. So if we are able to hit 10 channel members, I will be opening up an ARC server for y'all to play on. And yeah, we are also have a sub goal for this year where I'd like to hit 10,000 subs. Which I believe is absolutely possible. I think we can do it. We just gotta keep our minds on the grindstone, our nose to the grindstone, you know, and get it done. But anyways, it's been Gunshot Mari, signing off. Peace.